this is Shoku. <laughs> he is an Alaska Malamute male. He's intact and he has lots of thoughts and opinions about how his body should be handled. You know what? So we have worked on cooperative care so that vet exams as well as at home exams can be low key, enjoyable, um, and safe. And restraint just flat out does not work with him. So we do everything as best we can with him as a willing partner. We use a nose target to help get him into position. Yes. He will put his chin on this object or in hand. And as long as his chin stays on the object or the hand, it's permission to continue. Exam. Exam. Joy, very nice. And so once he lifts that head, you stop what you're doing and wait for him to put his chin back down. Settle. He's a little too excited about you. When his head is flat, it means go ahead and proceed. So in addition to the chin rest and head down as start button behaviors, uh, which means Shoku is agreeing to participate in the activity, um, he's also very communicative vocally. Uh, it's common to his breed and he has three primary voices. One voice is the demon, which is his normal talking voice. The other is the angry demon, um, which means stop what you're doing. And then he has the caterwauling Sasquatch, which is everything else. He will use his demon voice to say, I'm uncomfortable with this, please stop. At which point we stop. Uh, reset, give a new cue, set him up in a different way, and then attempt the, um, whatever the, the task was again. He will test handlers to see if they will stop or not. So once he's sure a handler tends to stop, so he'll do his demon grumble, be like, hmm, if you stop and wait, <laughs> touch, good. Then he'll usually give his consent cue to resume uh, the handling and the exam. I usually have cues for what I'm about to do. So if it's dealing with his paws, I will say foot and then let He'll uh, let me look at his feet. Yoy. I'm going to touch anywhere else on his body. I will say exam first. So exam. Yoy. If you want to look in his mouth, I will tell him teeth. Really? Ears. You're right. He is um, muscle trained. Good boy. Okay. Eyes. You're right. Good job. So when Shoku gets a little too worked up or frustrated in an exam, which could be anything from not wanting someone to touch a part of him because it hurts or just frustration because he wants the treats and to reset his thinking brain is to initiate movement. So exercises like going off to get it. So I'll give the get it cue, get it, <laughs> and toss it. resets his tolerance for handling. So to wrap up, his current cooperative care cues are yoi, that's his marker for when he did something good and a treat is coming. Can you settle? Settle. Yoi. He's got his nose touch, boop, yoi. Is a sustained nose touch, touch. Yoi. He has a chin rest, chin. Yoy. 
settle. Enjoy. Settle on side. And then we have body location cues. I'm going to touch his feet, feel it. Uh, we also have exam, so that's touching anywhere on his body that doesn't have a cue. Feel it. And then we also have teeth. Feel it. And ears. Feel it. Good. So he'll have his mat. And we'll have his muzzle, and now he'll have his handy cues. Good job. Anything? Hand paw. Good boy, good 